Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson. Today we are on lesson 27 and we're going to be talking about polymorphism. Polymorphism is a funny word but it really just means many form and what we mean by this is we're going to be able to treat uh, uh, one type in, in, in many ways and, and you'll see that um, you know further along in the program. So let's go ahead and review uh, what we did last time. We're actually just using the code from lesson 26 we create a class here. You have our private member fields. We have our constructor. And now the only thing that we've added here, which is different, is we have a method, um, but we have this virtual thing in here. And virtual just means that we're going to be able to treat this, uh, this method polymorphically. So let's keep that in mind for right now. And it just says, I'm a pet. Now, um, we have a dog. We create a dog class and it derives from pet. Create its own member field, inherit uh, in the constructor. Here's the constructor. We use the dog name and uh, dog weight from the base class. And then we have public override void talk. So we're overriding this. So here's the vir virtual void talk and now our override void talk. And in this scenario, we're just gonna do the same thing. So base.talk, so it's just gonna say, I'm a pet. Now we'll go down to cat, and we, you know, have a, uh, you know, cat derives from pet, so pet's the parent class. Private member variable, you know, here's our constructor, we use cat name and cat weight. And then we have public override boy talk, which is, uh, so, but this time we're changing uh, the text, so it's essentially different. My name is whatever the pet's name is, or in this case, cat, um, meow, and this name. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look. We'll just look at this stuff here, panda talk and pud talk. So we should get, I'm a pet, because we're calling the base talk, right? And my name is pud, meow, name pud, yep. So I'll run this, I'm a pet, my name is pud, Meow. Okay, so you're probably saying, Leo, that's cool, but it doesn't really teach me anything new, or, you know, that's a big word to not do much. Well, we haven't really done anything polymorphically yet. This is, um, this is the key here. Um, down here, we create a, an, a pet array, right, with uh, four, four slots for pets. Uh, in slot zero, we add panda, which is a dog, but it works because it's a pet. And that's, this is where we're starting to get into polymorphism. So on ray slot one, we add blue, or we create a new dog called blue, which is a dog, but it goes in a pet slot. And a new cat, and then we assign pud to the third slot. So essentially, this array is all of type pet, which is the parent class to these, you know, dog and uh, cat. So, but we, because it's a parent class, I mean, they are pets, dogs, and cats are of type pet. So that's, that's part, of the, you know, part of the magic. And now what we do is we have a, um, for each, pet p in pet array. So it's just going to iterate through all the pet slots, p.talk. And the key here is, is that it's smart enough to know, because of that virtual and override, that it's going to call... Um, you know, if it's a cat, it'll call this. If it's a dog, call this. So let's go ahead and did I get the right one. Yeah, base dot talk. With a dog, that. So we'll run this. I'm a pet. My name is Pud. Meow. Okay, so I'm a pet. Here, my name is Pud. Meow. And then we have our loop. Dog, dog, which is I'm a pet. I'm a pet. Cat, cat. My name is Corduroy. Meow. My name is Pud. Meow. So that's polymorphism. And let's give you a real life example. Let's just say um, you had a, you know, you're writing a program that had buttons. And you had a bunch of different type of buttons. Maybe you had a pull down button, a checkbox button, whatever. But they all have different sizes and things like that and different functionality. Well, you could just load the page because they're all, a button, you know, of all type buttons. And then for each button, 
uh, when you use it or when it draws, when you call draw on it, it will draw it properly because it doesn't, it, you know, it, you would have overridden the, uh, you know, the base class's draw and it can be specific to that specific um, object or class. So that's, that's really the power of it is, is you're able to treat dogs and cats because they are, uh, you know, their parent class is pet um, in these, you know, arrays and stuff like that. So um, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Uh, it's, uh, we're going to be using polymorphism a lot more. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please uh, join us on Next to our TV and we hope to see you next time. Thanks, guys.